Today we will talk about attack tier list for Overwatch. Please subscribe if you are new. We will start in C tier with Wrecking Ball. While he can apply high pressure to the enemy he puts out low damage and it takes much skill to do what other tanks do better. He cannot dive tank but without a shield he also doesn't make a good main tank. One redeeming feature is that Hammond can be very effective when paired with Zerar. He has some complex movement strats but can't do too much to protect himself overall I think that he is one of the worst tanks despite a lot of potential. Diva is a very effective dive tank who has what is most likely the best ultimate in the game. No other ult can put out so much damage in such a short time, doing up to a thousand damage. Although she puts out low damage like Hammond she can put more burst damage at a short range. She works well when paired with Winston. She is the staple of the dive comp despite all the large nerfs, I am placing Diva at B tier. Roadhog used to be an A rank but his hook and damage got nerfed and became the only F tier tank in the game. Recently he was buffed and his attacks almost doubled in damage, his right click does more ranged damage. He can heal 300 damage and is the most beefy tank in the game. His hook used to go through walls and could catch anything. It got nerfed then buffed and now comes back faster and starts recharging as soon as it is used. He makes for a high damage staller tank that does very well on all positions except for diving. He does as much damage as Reaper but shoots slower and has less clip size but his shotgun is very powerful. Roadhog can do almost anything and not be punished with his high healing. The only big downside is in the hands of a new player he feeds a lot. After he got buffed this season he sits at around B tear. Zera is in my opinion the hardest tank to learn. She does as much damage as a Mercy normally but at full charge she has some of the highest damage per second out of any character. She works very well with other main tanks like Hammond and gets rewarded when she or whoever she gives her temporary shield takes damage. Timing shields is what makes her a hard hero to learn because at best she is a high damage output tank that almost never dies with an ult that can be paired with any other ult in the game. But at worst she is the lowest health tank who feeds and does close to no damage. One more thing to add is that she works very well when combined with Ryan Hart. Overall Zera I can safely say is a tear. Winston makes for a better dive tank than Diva. He can shoot past shields and gen just deflect he is very good at diving widow also the only reason he ranks lower than Diva because his ultimate is kinda underwhelming. Diva can put out 1000 damage while he does alright damage he has a shield but it has low health and long respawn and it's more of a personal shield. Monkey as he is nicknamed is a pretty average tank although like Roadhog without a good game plan he feeds because he gets out damaged and can't leap out of danger. Overall I placed him at C plus tier 1 quick thing is that during dive comp he would place at A rank but after Brig was added to the game he is not as effective. Orisa is more of a defensive shield tank than Reinhardt but she is much slower than him. Unlike Reinhardt she can shoot while her shield is up and has no fall off damage and can counter snipe widow. Make her. One bad thing is that her shield is completely stationary and takes 9 seconds to put out another one. She can be out damaged by a Junkrat because her shield only has 900 health. With one of her abilities she can tank anything in the game. She can pull people off the map and out of cover. No one really counters her entirely but she does have some bad matchups. Her overall kit is alright but she is not that good compared to the Ryan core meter. I think she places at C tear.
Ryan Hart is the best main tank in the game. His shield has 2000 health and can regenerate very fast. His charge can do up to 300 plus damage. His ultimate is in the top 5 best ults in the game. It can stun anyone in its path allowing for an easy charge kill. Unlike Orisa who has a shield that is stationary, Ryan Hart's shield can move creating space for DPS players to be the most effective. He has very few hard counters. Being flying and high damage characters like Ferrer and Junkrat. He completely counters snipers like Widowmaker because they cannot shoot through his shield. This altogether places him at S tier.